scanning for audio. Welcome to a Tin Dog Podcast. This time, talking about Blake 7, Series 1, Story 4, Mirror. Here's the synopsis. Orak has tracked Space Major Kid, the man who killed Jenna's father, to the planet Veer. Jenna wants her revenge, but that must wait. Blake needs her to pilot the Liberator to Stellar 4 where he has a small window of opportunity to solve the mystery of the new Federation device. It's a daring plan, and it could be the beginning of the end for the Liberator crew. Written by Peter Angelides, and directed again by Ken Bentley. A quick look at the cast does give away the fact that the President will appear, but that's absolutely fine. It's a nicely plotted storyline, and you could, as always, imagine this taking place on screen. Brian Croucher, playing Travis, is just plain brilliant. He's evil without any redeeming features. Yes, he's a glorified lackey of Servalan, but that's absolutely fine. Because he's trying to escape from under her shadow, and a man that desperate is a very scary man indeed. So, Federak's out there, and Orak wants to know what's happening to him. Mirror, so titled because, well, that would be a spoiler, wouldn't it? Is a pretty good storyline, but Mirror is such an obvious spoiler that it makes you think it should have been called something else. And that is my only complaint about the whole story. Everyone is great. You've got people who are supposed to be terrorists and supposed to be highly trained surveillance operatives who never ever get to use those skills on TV, managing to be the people that they were always supposed to be. You've got people wanting random revenge, which is a very Blake 7 thing. And you've also got some pretty good development in the world of Avon. See, Avon does have a personality shift from being somebody who's a main character. It's like, say, Spock becoming the captain of the Enterprise in between two seasons of Star Trek. A brilliant first officer becoming the captain. You've got some grinding of cogs. Well, that's what you've got here, because when he ends up running the Liberator in Series C, you've got a definite shift in gear. And this is the building of that. This is the less grinding of the cogs, if you see what I mean. You've got some real character development which is pretty good in the fact that this story is slotted into, well, some gaps. You've got some brilliant performances from Michael Keating and some massive surprises going on. I perhaps wouldn't recommend you this story as a jumping in point, but if you're following the whole story and the whole arc of this series, it's a definite must-have. You can't not have this story and be a Blake 7 fan. So here's the trailer. I'll let you decide for yourself. Until next time, be seeing you. Blake 7. Mirror. Orak, can you confirm the destination coordinates? Of course I can. I have decoded Federation signals that place the Federac device on the fourth natural satellite of the gas giant Stellar. On screen, tactical display. Confirm. No wonder Federac's hidden out there. It's well away from the usual Federation trade routes and military complexes. Great. We're in the back of beyond. Nobody here but us chickens and a horde of Federation security, I'll bet. Move aside, you imbeciles. Travis, what's he doing here? If Blake and his crew won't come to you, then I'll just have to chase them myself. <laughs> and that broken-up old planet, Hopper? Is this it? We'll be lucky if it survives liftoff. 
Anything down there? Another dead end. You must be getting used to those, Blake. Set in a course for Stellar 4. That's where he'll be going. Stellar 4 is a Category Alpha Federation facility. That's my routine. Oh, we're running out of options. If the Liberator doesn't get back here soon, our only choice will be about how we prefer to die. Execute Protocol 9 Gamma 1. No! Ava! Yeah! Number one, removal complete. Good. There were no evidence left behind. Subscribers get more at bigfinish.com. You've been listening to the Tin Dog Podcast. Available on RSS, iTunes, Stitcher, Audioboom and Tumblr. Doctor Who and its associated works are copyright of the BBC. No infringement is intended. You can contact the show, donate, buy merchandise or find out more about my other projects by visiting the Tin Dog Podcast homepage and clicking on the links. The Tin Dog Podcast is a founder member of the Doctor Who Podcast Alliance. (laughs) 